What's going on guys? I am so excited to be in the car this morning because I had to drive straight down to my local Pokemon card shop, Mayhem Collectibles. The amazing people over there, they helped us out so much in completing the Crown Zenith Blinder the other day. But no one was happy with the ending. Everyone's like, Ando, you've got to get that final Palkia Gold card. It was the last one I needed. But I think the really special part is Harley, the guy behind the counter, he helped us out so much by giving us uh, like the ultra rares from his personal collection. So we gotta repay him, we gotta give him a really nice gift, and I think I've got the perfect thing he's gonna love. So off we went to Mayhem Collectibles to not only give Harley his big present, but to also complete our entire Crown Zenith collection. But this is where we met Megan. You might remember Megan as the girl with the crazy Eevee binder. She's absolutely Eevee obsessed and loves Sylveon, but she had the golden Palkia card that we needed. But guys, it was time. We had to give Harley the big present. And Harley's such a massive Pokemon card collector, I really had to think outside of the box to give him something he hadn't already got, but something that would live up to his expectations. I hope I've done a good job. And right before we get into that, today's video is sponsored by the amazing people at italki, which is a really fun language learning service. So basically, if you've never heard of italki before, it's customized one-on-one -on -one language lessons with someone that's like native speaking in that language that you want to learn. And that's the reason I wanted to jump on and give it a go. I booked in a lesson with a native Japanese speaking person to teach me some basics of Japanese. And this is pretty much how it went. Fest, the YouTube oh, fest. Oh, how many fans? Uh, we got 2.6 million. 2.6 million? million? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. So, so how to say Japanese people? Or oh, Nihonji. Uh, yes. Uh, Nihonji, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You got it. Yeah, so nice. literally, Literally, it's just to put the country name and the person. Now, obviously, I picked Japanese to learn just because I'm there so much and I always unbox Japanese Pokemon cards. It would be cool to be able to read a lot more of them, but there is 150 plus different languages that you can pick and try to learn. But the really cool part about italki is it's pay per lesson. So you only pay per the lesson that you take. There's no subscription. There's no commitment. It's just, you know what? I want to jump on, try this lesson. And there's even instant options. So if you wake up one morning thinking, I want to learn a bit of Italian, you can book an instant class with a native speaking Italian and get your lesson for literally as low as $5. So if you guys want to pick up something brand new, I'd highly recommend it. Check out my link in the description. Click that link down there. And if you buy $10, you'll get $5 off using my promo code UNLISTEDLEAF. So make sure you definitely use the promo code and save a bit of money. And it also looks like you're going to have to be really fast because this promo code is only for the first 50 people that use it. So make sure you be quick if you're keen to give this a go. Back to the video. I got a special delivery last week mm -hmm. from the amazing people at Hit Parade, which do these like mystery PSA card boxes. I'm gonna give you all of the boxes to open right now and you can keep whatever we pull inside. Oh, wow. And they could be some ridiculous cards. Dude. Okay, let's start, we'll start with this one. Yeah. The best thing that we can get in here, apparently is an Evolving Skies Requires a VMAX PSA 10. Even the best. That's, that's the best, best we can get, all right? all right? One card, if it's the Requires, I'll jump out that window. <laughs> I'll snap. Oh, it's not, what is it, what is it? It's like a Japanese card? It might be, um. Japanese Ooh. promo. Oh! Yaga. Yep. 10. Oh, ta I'll take that. A gem mid 10 as well. Gem mid 10, starting off. What do you shot. think? What do you think? I think that was very cool. What's the, ne what's the next one that takes you fancy, you reckon? Uh, let's go tops here. You like the tops? Oh, Best one of the tops one, a PSA 10 Tops Chrome Gengar. Oh, Gengar. P PSA 10 Mew or PSA 10 Dragonite, all crop Tops Chrome as well. Oh, dude, here we go. Imagine we get the Gengar. If I get the Gengar, you know, Michael will be jealous. Oh, he will, he will. He will be jealous. Or there's, I think it's, Pik I reckon it's Pikachu. I reckon I've oh, seen this Pikachu's before. Pikachu's even better. Zapdos. Oh, it's a gem in 10 as well. Look at the shine though. That is just wicked. It's killer. Oh, so the best card inside of here is a Neo Destiny Unlimited Shining Charizard PSA 4. PSA 4? Um, yeah, PSA 4, but Shining Charizard. Uh, shining. Imagine we go and get the Charizard. You know what, Neo anything's gonna be great. So what is shield? 2020? I'm not too sure about my VMAX. Could this. be anything, Could honestly, be with that rainbow rare. Pikachu! Oh! Stop it! Are you serious? I can't, I can't. Okay, I bought this challenge. This is too good of a gift. Too this is too, too good, good of a gift. This is. Dude, are you serious? I'm one of the best. Oh my! I, I still haven't got any of this. Stop it! Life. Pikachu, what are we doing? Holy. What are we doing? What are we doing this? Oh my! Oh my Look at your God. collection you've done so far! I can't believe, as if that Pikachu was like, not even on the little list. I know, that's crazy. An Evolutions pre-release promo Charizard. Oh, yeah. That's the best one in that's here. That's the best one. Or a PSA 10 Ancient Mew promo. If your luck is anything like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. We're seeing number 10. 
So it's a 10. It's, it's a, a gem in 10. Gem in 10. 2001? Mewtwo Hollow. Oh, KFC. I read it. KFC <laughs> Mewtwo. I read it as 2001 for a minute and I was like, no way. KFC did a promo? No, I remember this one. Is this the. Yeah, the Thailand uh, Kids Meal one. So the best one in. Ooh. Here, PSA 10, first edition Zapdos is the best thing we can get in here. Um, Fire Red Leaf Green Moltres EX as well. Mm -hmm. Any, pretty much think of the original, think of something a bit obscure could be in there. All right, I don't, I honestly don't think you can get any better. I feel like you've peaked on the Pikachu, so it's all downhill from here. Downhill? No, it's like junior. It, it, can't, it can't be any better, otherwise I'm gonna probably pass it, it wrapped in plastic. This one's got plastic underneath, I, I feel it. Is that good or bad? Might be good, might be the, the hit. You reckon? Extra bag is. Sun and Moon. Okay. Gyarados okay. Cheek GX. Oh, wow. Oh, I, they also gave us a booster Stop pack. Stop it! Are you this serious? Are you sure? They gave Look us at a base set two booster pack. Are that's, you serious? That's why it was in the bag. Holy! Two for one. That's I'm shaking, I'm literally shaking. Are you serious? We just got a base set two booster. Set booster pack. Okay. So, best thing inside of here is obviously going to be our Blames Charizard. Blames Charizard, yep. But to be honest, there's a lot of really nice artwork in the gym set. Yeah, Gym Heroes is one of my favorite sets. Uh, even for Cypher, Rocket Cypher is pretty cool. Rocket Cypher, I forgot about that one. Yeah. CGC? CGC. Yep, CGC. Eric's Venusaur. Venusaur. I love this. I love this artwork. Yes. Have Eric you got this one in the Raw Flight? I don't even have Erica's Venusaur. Nah, that's a banger. That's, that's, a, that's a, nice a good one. one. That's a nice one. I want you to open it. You, you have sure? luck. Yep. I just right. have a Come to your cameraman. You're going to film me opening up a base, base set 2 booster. Whatever we pull. You reckon you're you'll grade it? Or... Yeah, yeah, potentially. Alright, if it's a holo. Yeah. Holo's like, I'll grade. Should we do the card trick? Is it two or three? Three? I think it's three. Alright. I hope it's three. I think it's three as well. Oh no, it's not! It's oh. a regular Ram Venomoth! Base set two, regular Ram Venomoth. We should have kept it sealed. But we've got the Water type, the Fire type, the Nidorino, Persian, Growlithe, Rattata, Onyx, Paris, Goldeen, and the classic Ghastly as well. Regular red. You know what? Yep. You peaked way too early on that Pikachu. We did. We hit it early. We hit the Pikachu straight oh, away. You know. I can't believe this. We just opened up base set. <laughs> so, what are you? What are you after for the uh, the gold pack here? What are you? What are you trying to cook up? I think something special for my Eevee collection. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, really? Or the Zacian V. All right. My Crown Zenith. So yeah, I reckon I, I do have. I got a double of that one, so oh. I can definitely trade you this one. And then you're thinking like an evolution or something as well. When we get home, we'll have a look through the collection. We're gonna find Megan the best Sylveon possible, and that'd be uh, that'd be a good enough trade to get the power here. Yeah, sounds good. All right, all right, 100. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you so much for the uh, Thank best. You. This is the best trade of the entire year because this right here can go into the binder. And look at that. So, Beautiful. we've officially done it. Thank you. That was it. No, thank you. You completed the whole collection. Yay. You know what, guys? I think Holly really enjoyed his present. I was so thrilled with the outcome. He seemed really happy, but we had to make Megan's day. She literally came through with the last card I needed for my entire Crown Zenith collection. But that's when I kind of realized she told us exactly what she wanted when we first met her last week okay. at a trade day. Is there an EV card you're like hunting for you haven't got? Eevee on the ball? The Eevee the on the ball? One? Yeah? Or the soccer ball one? So it was straight to eBay. I bought the Eevee on a ball that she wanted. I actually don't have that card in my collection, so no wonder it's actually pretty rare. But then I thought, you know what? We can't just get her the card off eBay. Let's get her a nice shining Sylveon from my personal collection. Let's sign it as well. I think this is such a beautiful card. Then that way she gets a little thoughtful present and a card that she really needs. Alrighty guys, this is probably the most random spot I could imagine that we're finishing the entire Crown Zenith ETB Master Set video. But I feel like this whole series has been a bit of a vlog. So it's like the perfect place to show you the complete set. I really just wanted to give you a final HD look at my whole binder. I'm so proud of getting a Master Set. And if you guys love this video, you love these series, Make sure you let me know with a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section because I reckon we should do more Master Set Complete videos. But without further ado, let me show you every page of a Crown Zenith Master Collection. Let's have a look at my Arceus Binder. And ladies and gentlemen, this right here is going to be such a sad moment, but it's our final ever Crown Zenith Binder recap. I've officially done it. We completed a Crown Zenith Master Set. This is something I am so unbelievably proud of, and every time I look at this footage, like all of those Charizards together, all those Leafeons, it is so satisfying. Knowing that I traded or like pulled half of these cards on the channel is just... 
it's so cool. And every, I seriously, I look at this binder sometimes before I go to bed now, and it's the best feeling. And now that it's fully complete, is amazing. Some of the highlights to me though, come on, the Radiant cards. Either the Charizard, the Eternatus there, even that Holo Ditto. I know a lot of people love the Rayquazas in this set, but for me, the Rayquazas, they're like number 20 on the cool card list. There's too many to pick from. I love the Friends of Hasui, Friends of Sinnoh Full Art Card uh, trainers right there. They are really gorgeous. But then after the energies, this is where the party starts. The Galarian Gallery. Look at the Pikachu up the top. If you look at that card really closely in person, it's got the most juicy looking texture ever. And then, the puzzle pieces. No one tell Mareep, because my favorite's the Pikachu. But I know it probably should be the Mareep, but I apologize. The Pikachu looks so good. Duskull also looks really oddly good there too. But, send me see a V-Star, another gorgeous one. I love the Entei. And the Deoxys on this page, it's a standout. He's getting beamed up by the Orbital UFO. The Zacian so hand drawn. I love the Hooper, the Suian Samurott, even the trainers, guys. I know trainers aren't that exciting to pull for a lot of people, but come on, the artwork's fantastic. We're just gonna ignore that Palkia because he was so difficult to pull. And the final two cards here, the Arceus and the Giratina, the most expensive ones. They deserve their own page. But look at that. This right here is a complete Crown Zenith Master Set. I hope you enjoyed the video and the series.